Attack of the Show, TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. Right now, let's go over to Kevin, whose thumb blisters are enormous and inspiring. It's from playing Xbox, I swear. Folks, every Wednesday, we're all about games, and once again, we're bringing you the biggest stories the gaming world has to offer in Game Break. You didn't know I could sound that sultry, right? Did you have those break. 90s raves, too? <laughs> I did. I still have my Dr. Seuss hat. Nice. Joining us with the latest in gaming news, co-host of X-Play, Miss Morgan Webb. Glad to have you here. Thank you so much. It's actually nice to be back. Oh, good. Game break us, will you? Okay, first up, we have some game-breaking news regarding the PlayStation 3 launch title, Resistance Fall of Man, and the motion-sensitive fixed axis controller. Now, recently, the Level Up crew from Newsweek.com posted their interview with president of Sony's Worldwide Studios, Bill Harrison. Now, Harrison confirmed additional content for Resistance Fall of Man that will extend the single-player storyline, but she kept mum on new weapons or levels. In another interview with GameDaily.com, Harrison talked about the tech inside the six-axis controller. He said he thinks motion sensitivity is in the future of gaming, but the rumble feature is a, quote, last generation Boo. feature. <laughs> For them, I guess. It's true, Nintendo has a lot of catching up to do because last I checked, the Wii had rumble and motion sensitivity built into its wireless controller. It's amazing. But moving on, we have a bit of promising news for gamers and cinephiles. The LastBoss.com reports on the new toys in the Spanish theater chain Yelmo Complex. The theater has let an audience of up to 50 people play video games like the Battlefield series and GTR 2 in a theater-wide multiplayer match. Nice. These networked games are played before the movie starts and give people to do something besides complain about all the pre-show commercials. Other companies like California's Time Player are working on similar units for us Americans. No word yet on whether or not the men's restrooms will be equipped with those interactive urinal cakes. But, you know, we can hope for the best. And finally, more inspiring news from the land of Sony regarding the European PlayStation 3 console and its backwards compatibility. Behold, a few of the games Europeans probably won't be able to play on their PS3s. Sony confirmed the old PS2 hardware is being replaced by software emulation, which we know can be a little bit wonky. Now, Sony is showing no love for the old world lately. Europeans had to wait four months longer for a more expensive, less powerful version of the PS3. Oh, and they still can't legally import PSPs. <laughs> But at least they can swing by Spain and play the games on the silver screen. It's a small market, apparently. Europe is very small. They don't, small don't buy a lot of games. Small market. Yeah. Poor guys. Man. Like, the ridiculous thing here is that, is that wasn't Sony the company that was doing all the chess beating about how important backwards compatibility is? Because Microsoft didn't have the universal backwards compatibility. Right. They're saying, oh, we're going to add it. We're going to add it. Sony right. said, all of our games will be fully playable. Now oh, it turns oh, out oh, they're oh. not. Right. Is, it, is this really an issue, or is it a very vocal minority that's speaking out angrily about the fact that they can't play their PS2 games on their PS3? But people already have PS2, so why shouldn't they just... I keep mine True. plugged in. There's no Because God of War 2, I want to play with a rumble pack. I'm going to put it in my PS2. I'm not putting it in my PS3. So is the mistake not having it, or is the mistake pretending like it was a huge issue when it really isn't. Which, which, which misstep did Sony take with this one? I think not having it because they beat their chest about it. Okay. Although, you know what, the average gamer who walked into a video game store and, and picked out a video game from the back of the box, they, pro they probably don't. Yeah, exactly. So they shouted so loud they had to open their mouth that they can put their right. foot in it later. All right, perfect. There you have it. Morgan, thank you for stopping by. You're welcome. As always, we've been game broken. I think is the proper way to end that. Is that a capsule? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> still pee on mats. That's it for today's Game Break, but you know the gaming never stops here at the old G4. Be sure to check out our website and while you're there. Make sure you hit up the cheat sheet section with over 15,000 tips, tricks, and codes. They cover just about every platform under the sun, even that old Commodore 64 in your mom's closet. Seriously, dust it off. Just go to g4tv.com slash cheats and get your cheat on. Still coming up, what do time travel, Jessica Biel, and hair plugs have in common? Find out next on TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. If you haven't been watching Attack of the Show, this is what you're missing. For more info, go to g4tv.com slash AOTS. Attack of the Show.